This is Everything Braces Isn't. Eating the foods you love, life uninterrupted. Invisalign. We are back at Levi's Stadium with our next feature story for this week, brought to you by Service by Medallion. I'm sure a lot of athletes wish they could be in Duke Reader's shoes. The senior from St. Ignatius is committed to playing college lacrosse, but now with player walk-on offers in football from schools like Stanford, Duke has a decision to make. Last season, the St. Ignatius Wildcats did the unthinkable. After a 3-8 and eight finish back in 2018, the 2019 Wildcats went 9-3 and three on the season, 6-1 and one in the WCAL. That sixth league title happened on the last game of the season against the Sierra Padres, the eventual NorCal champions. It earned the Wildcats a share of the WCAL title. That was one of the better feelings I've ever had. Um, I jokingly say my life peaked at that moment, but like, not jokingly. Duke Reeder is a senior D-end and tight end for the Wildcats. This where all the students stormed the field. It was, you know, quintessential SI experience. So it was really an awesome feeling. It was a feeling Duke may not have ever experienced because just three months earlier, Duke had never even played in a single football game. Last year was my first year ever playing football. Um, I played lacrosse my whole life, that was my thing. And I just decided to play. A bunch of my buddies convinced me to play. I thought, why not? Um, it was one of the better decisions I've ever made. And Duke came out uh, in the spring of 19 and said he was interested in coming out for football, which we all supported. And um, you know, I knew Duke as a lacrosse player as that level of an athlete and a very high level athlete at that sport. Um, so I was excited to see what he could, tra you know, what translates and what he could do on the football field. Duke grew up playing lacrosse. He is a three-year varsity starter for the nationally ranked team here at St. Ignatius. He's committed to playing lacrosse at Cornell. I just chose Cornell one. It's an amazing education. Uh, it's a great program, uh, but mainly because of the guys on the team. Um, when I visited, I got to hang out with them, and they were some of the coolest people I've ever met. With college lacrosse on his radar, Duke wanted to earn another varsity letter, this time in football. You know, I came out really not knowing what to do. Offense, I was lost. I didn't really know what to do at all until in the middle of the season. But defense, I sort of picked it up pretty quickly. Um, you know, all the concepts and everything. You know, I just felt like with my you know attitude and work ethic, I was able to um, earn a starting spot. Duke did more than earn a starting spot. When the season was over, Duke was awarded second team All-League honors. You know, football was really new to me. The first couple of practices, I was pretty scared. I didn't really know what to do. Um, so I put in a lot of hard work and effort and just sort of figuring everything out. So it was definitely really gratifying to be honored with an All-League recognition. Um, it showed that a lot of my hard work had paid off throughout the season and that uh, you know, I had a good base to build off of for next season. Duke's a, an incredibly intense competitor, you know, and he brings that to our team and to the guys around him, to his position group. Uh, so that, that's number one in terms of what shows on the field. And I think that comes out in how he plays. You know, he, you see a level of intensity all the time. He has a very high motor and the motor runs hot all the time, you know, so, which is great at a defensive end, outside linebacker position when you've got like that. Now, Duke isn't so sure college lacrosse is his future. Yeah, so I'm looking at you know, different opportunities to play football in college. Um, you know, I've been mainly thinking about lacrosse and all that throughout basically since sixth grade. I've been sort of on the lacrosse recruiting trail trying to um, play collegiate lacrosse, but now that sort of football's become an opportunity, I've been trying to explore that um, and all the options I can just to see if it's a possibility and see if it's something I'd like to do. Duke can absolutely play at the next level. He's getting interest because coaches at the college level can see that as well, and I think they're right. You know, and Duke has a strong passion for the sport. He's building it, and he knows that's what he wants to do. So he can absolutely play at the next level. Uh, as far as football recruiting, um, I have two offers and two preferred walk-on offers. So I'm just trying to feel everything out uh, as things go. Um, you know, applying to different schools, um, talking to different coaches and uh, just seeing how things pan out. When you ask Duke which sport he would rather play in college. I really don't know. That's the thing. That's the decision I'm you know, trying to make um, in the future. Um, you know, I have 
love for both of the sports. Um, you know, obviously, football is a lot newer to me. Um, there's a lot more unknown. Um, you know, whereas lacrosse, I've been playing for 14 years, so I sort of know everything about the game. Not everything. There's always still things to learn, but I know a lot more. Yeah, so I, I really don't know. Whether it's football or lacrosse, Duke Reader has his sights set on making it to that next level. Now Duke says the best case scenario is being able to play football at Cornell in the fall and then lacrosse for the Big Red in the spring. He's a tough decision to make in the upcoming months. Maybe we'll see where he stands after the football season. That would be really interesting, but mm -hmm. Cornell, you can't, you can't really lose. Yeah, with you cannot. <laughs> Outstanding school. All right, coming up, this better than Sonoma State for sure.